going into the draft, I thought Milwaukee was going to be the team to pick me. So that was originally the first place I thought I would start that my career out at. But you don't really have much control about it after that. Is it good that you're not going to be like the one person that everyone's focused on like it was in Kansas City? Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter what the focus. It's nice because there's a bunch of good players to to help do stuff with and looking forward to watching some of these guys play and I watched uh, Prince do the home run derby and that was that was the only time I've really seen him play and it, it was really fun to watch. The main reason I wanted to get out of, I mean preferred to get out of Kansas City was just wanted to be on a team that was trying to win this year because as a pitcher you don't really know how long your career is going to be and just really wanted to be in a place where they were playing playing to win games right away. So Milwaukee's obviously that place and I was really happy that it worked out. Zach, how exciting is this for you? For for me it was great. Um, when I found out about it, I told my wife it was probably the happiest I've been since I got drafted like ten years ago in baseball. It's had, Got happy. I was happy when we got married, too. That was the other, other top three. They got some really good offense on the team, and they seem to have, like, an attitude about them, and I kind of like that. And Kendall came over here, over to Kansas City from this place, and he was, he was great for our team. So I'm assuming that he got a lot of his, some of his attitude from being in this organization. Well, he came on pretty quick last week in that, but, uh, you know, he was a guy that you always would love to have if the opportunity was there. And it wasn't there earlier on, and, uh, and that, but we didn't give up on it. I kept calling Dayton more, and we weren't on the original list, and uh, Zach said the list can change <clears throat> and that, and, and uh, he's a pretty bright, intelligent guy, follows the game. And I think when he saw that, when he picked up Markham, and, and uh, it appeared that Prince was going to be here, his list changed, and he wanted to be a part of our organization. So uh, I'm glad I didn't give up on it. And I called Dayton last week and said, is there any way, you know, we could start talking again? And uh, I knew it was going to be a costly trade. We gave up some very talented players. And if I was in uh, Dayton's seat, I would have selected the players that he did too. But uh, the one thing about it is we're getting a young pitcher, uh, 27 years old, who's, you know, with a Cy Young uh, award and someone who's very energized to be in postseason. Well, the deceiving part is, is um, you know, you look at the ERA and it wasn't as good as the year before. The year before was ridiculous. I mean, to do what he did the year before, um, that is, in, a, in the American League, is, uh, it's unbelievable, the, the numbers he put up. So uh, to, to come back and be able to do that again is going to be pretty tough. But he, um, he has the ability uh, to shut down a really good offense. And that's the difference between the good pitchers and the great pitchers. The good pitchers... Uh, you hope you, that they hold him to two, three runs. The, the star quality pitchers, they can shut out a really good offense. He's, he's obviously, he's got great stuff. Um, you know, if you have a great head and you, and you uh, go about your, your job, you know, studying hitters and how to get them out, um, uh, it's important. But when you have great stuff and you also do that, it makes you a Cy Young, which is what he is. It's hard to rank. Uh, you know, different rotations. Uh, you know, you look at Philly and what they've done, uh, pretty incredible rotation. The Giants, what, what you saw with the young guys with them, what they did in, in the playoffs last year. Um, we are really good, our rotation. I don't want to rank them, but we are really good.